Alrighty, let's build a game of Brahmintas. So I'm going to be using the workshop here at Billings Homestead. The reason for that is it's going to have lots of razor grains. So over here by the uh, farmhouse, you can find one to two hundred of these uh, razor grain crops. Uh, and also because when you take a workshop, it gives you a, a lot of free resources. So if I'm just building a test build, I usually do it at a workshop. Uh, so we're going to start with just a floor piece. Put that down. We'll put a single set of stairs. And we're going to start constructing the first floor. So we're going to make the game board. And you don't have to make it exactly like this. Use this as a, a guide. Uh, I'm going to build three full floors wide. And then I'll build a floor forward. And then I'll do three across here again. Uh, so this is going to be the main platform for the game. And then I'm going to take these half size floors. And if I can line them up. If I can line them up, there we go. And uh, I'm going to build these two out like this. Uh, again, you don't have to build it this way, but uh, if you want it to look like mine at the end, do it this way. I'm going to put another one here, uh, and you'll see why a bit later. And this is going to extend out a bit, but that's fine. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So uh, two here. And just spend all day doing this. There we go. Another one, and uh, one's on the side here. You see, these ones are kind of offset. Uh, that's going to affect a wall that we're going to put in a bit later. Come on, come on. There we go. And then I'm going to put two right here. All right. So now I'm going to construct the sides of this game board. So I'm going to get some half walls. And I'm just going to build these down both sides. And then I'm going to build a back panel here. So this is going to be four full walls tall. And if I can get it stick on, go all the way across. And I'm going to build them up as high as I can. Now this uh, obviously is a bit easier if you have um, uh, the perk that lets you jump higher. I don't know why I can't remember that, but monkey legs, frog legs. Wait, what's it called? Uh, and if you can't reach up there, you just build a roof, and we're going to put that fourth level up there. I don't know why I can't remember the name of that perk. I'm going to really hate watching this later. Uh, okay, and we go up four. And so now uh, we're going to continue the walls on the side here. So we're going to build these three tall. Uh, if we can get it to snap to those half walls. We want it on the far end one. There we go. And we're just going to build that three, three high. It's a little hard to snap these on there, but they will go eventually. Oh, come on now. Here we go. Uh, now, once we've done that, you can go ahead and uh, I'm going to remove uh, this roof piece. I'm just going to put two flat roof pieces just on the side. So what I'm going to make here are little uh, platforms to form uh, like a skee-ball board, and then I'm going to put two up here. Uh, and you'll you'll probably saw from the video, but this is the targets that we're going to use for our, our Brahmin toss. This is what it looks like so far. And we're going to turn this into a door. So this is a little trick that will let you remove uh, certain walls. Turn this to a door without uh, removing the support. So I'm going to remove that, change that back to a wall, and now I'm going to take a uh, that floor piece out. And I'm basically just creating places this cow can go. I'm going to put an angled roof piece there. So now we, we see our playing board is uh, taking shape. 
uh, remove these floor pieces. That's why we put those there. So now we have little uh, pits on the side. And then I'm going to put a half wall there. Uh, now we can put some scoring uh, numbers and stuff like that on there, a little bit of decoration. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll skip ahead to that uh, later just so we don't have to sit through it. Um, but uh, you're, you're free to, of course, decorate it whatever way you want uh, and put some scoring letters and, and things like that on there. So we're going to go up to the next level. This is the most important part. So this is where the, uh, the Brahmin launcher is going to be for uh, Brahmin Toss. Uh, I'm going to build it out uh, three wide. I got this lined up with the, the platform below. Oh my goodness. Wow, I can't believe I just got that. I've been playing since beta. I, this is <laughs> I just got that achievement. That's crazy. Yeah, wow, and you guys are here for it. It's so special to me. All right, so moving on, and we're going to build... Um, let's see, what should we do here? Uh, we're going to replace this with the wire frame. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the traps, and we're going to grab these spike board traps. So you want to grab the one on the bottom, because this one uh, has a full arc when it springs. That's going to be the best for this. And the reason we use that wireframe floor is just so we can connect the wires. So the, the connection's on the bottom of the board, and it won't work otherwise. So we just need to have that wireframe initially. I'm going to turn this off because it's on by default. And, uh, and then we're going to hook it up. And now we're going to put down a full-size carpet. This is the rug trick. People have seen this tons of times, I'm sure, and then we're going to place the Brahmin pen. So this is under the resources tab. This, I think you can get this plan in White Springs now if you don't have it. And put it down, and that's immediately going to spawn a Brahmin. So what we need to do, unfortunately, is to be able to move this, because once he's chewing on it, you can't move it. We're going to have to kill him. Sorry. And once he's dead, that Brahmin pen is going to fall apart. So there's a little brief delay, but if you wait, that's going to fall to pieces. And then we can move the carpet with the pen on it. We can get a hold of it there. There we go. And we're just going to try to place that as close to the spike board to trap as possible. And this is going to be the setup for our game. So if we repair this, the, uh, the Brahmin will come back. Now we're going to skip ahead a little bit to where we've decorated and put the scoring information up. And now I'm going to show you an example of uh, playing a game of Brahmin Toss. So these are the scores. These are the targets that we want to hit. Again, you don't have to design it this way. This is just how I did it. Uh, you're going to repair the uh, Brahmin pen. It's going to spawn the Brahmin, club him, and then turn on your spike board trap. So that's going to fling him. Oh, boy, I was hoping for a 15 there. Five points. That's not, that's not a bad start. Gonna have to turn it off. Now if you build this in your camp you can use the camp object to repair all these because I'm at the workshop I have to repair them uh, each manually. Let's try it again. Always milk your Brahmin before you club it. Just get a little extra milk there. It's quite good. So sometimes they'll move back. There's a little strategy because they'll move around that'll change the angle of the shot. But uh, oh yeah there we go. That's 15 points. That's good. That's quite a good shot. So this, this is the general gist of uh, Brahmin Toss. Uh, you can kind of make your own rules, um, you know, if you want to play with friends or something like that, but you can kind of get it, uh, you know, maybe you have three Brahmin each or something like that, and what you're really doing is you're just scoring points and you're just sort of adding them up. Um, I'm going to take another shot here because I feel uh, a little bit greedy. I want to take another roll here. Club him. Get another shot in there. Ooh, another 15. Oh, no. Oh no, it's a Brahmin out of bounds. Brahmin out of bounds. That's unfortunate. I think I got ripped off. That was a pretty good shot. All right. So if you look at me now, I, I personally believe the official attire of Brahmin Toss is going to be the golf outfit and that you should use a golf club if you're going to club the Brahmin. Of course, people are going to have their own house roles and may play it a bit differently, but this is my recommendation. Uh, anyway, this is how you build the game of Brahmatas. I hope to see a few of these out in the wasteland, and I uh, hope this gives you some ideas of stuff you can do with your own Brahmin launcher.